Like this poem. One. Because you're lonely too. Because you understand what it's like to spend hours waiting for a notification that someone else values what you have to say. Verification that some of the people in your box of friends still walk through your forests waiting for trees to fall. Two. Because you didn't understand that metaphor, so it must be deeper than your reach. Because people who appreciate poets are more approachable than poets themselves and far less likely to spend Saturday nights alone. Three. Because the words look like family. Because when they pass your teeth, it's as if your soul joins in chorus and their syntax wraps cozy around your shivering bones. It's because their eyes look like yours. Because they know how to cut you, but don't. Four. Because you're in love. Because if a raccoon tore a hole in your garbage bag, ate last week's now green chocolate cake, and heaved it back up onto your front porch shortly thereafter, you would see poetry in it. Because poems look like pies through rose-colored glasses, and it's really hard to find a bad pie. Five, because you hate this poem but won't tell me. Because our relationship hangs on your approval, and you know I'll ask you to make me feel okay about writing this later. Tell me that people don't appreciate real art anymore, and that's why no one else has responded. Six, because it doesn't rhyme. Because there are numbers separating the stanzas that force you to read the last line slowly because it references Facebook, so it's something you can relate to because it's a little bit outside the box but still inside of mine. Seven, because you understand why I wrote it. Because there's loyalty in the signature, even our forefathers acknowledged, and it's the best way you know to take sides. Eight, because the last thing you liked was McDonald's french fries and you're looking to diversify your portfolio. Nine, because we haven't spoken in years outside of birthday wishes, and silence is a hard habit to break. Because neither of us know who the apology belongs to, but because you're willing to take a step out on faith. Ten. Because you understand the impact an echo can have on its source. Because we all stand on stages built with trembling hands. We carry microphones in our pockets on those nights too quiet to sleep and purge our lungs of their angst. Because this cave cannot be empty. Because words don't look like family unless they're spoken by someone you love. And because some nights, all I need is your name to remember that I still have my own. Thank you.